Back now at 542, a local woman has opened up her very first food cart at a brand new food cart pod in Hillsboro. Cor Harlan joins us live this morning from the Hillsboro downtown station. He's checking out the authentic German food at Ein Berliner. Cor. Hey, this is, I am told, this is one of the only authentic German food carts anywhere in the area. So take that for what it's worth. We're at Hillsborough Station this morning. We got things on top of the uh, on top of the stove top here. We got carrots. We got potatoes. We got what looks like gravy and meatballs. There looks like a great German fare. That is Verena Wardman over there. She is the uh, woman we're talking about here this morning. And now listen, you have you have three minutes here. You got to finish a dish, so you got to talk yeah, while you work. Now I know you don't have any difficulty talking, all right? No, I don't. So you know, I know that. So tell me what we're going to be putting together here this morning. Okay, so we are going work to while you talk. Together. Work while you talk. All right. Uh, all right. Sorry about that. I'm being kind of mean. My no, no. Uh, you can be mean because you're so tall, and I cannot even do anything against it. <laughs> Go ahead and keep rolling. If you got to do some stuff, what are we putting together here? Yes, we are putting together our uh, carrots and. We are looking for a spoon, and we are finding a spoon. Right. <laughs> so we're adding, we have had uh, carrots, we boiled them, and we added butter to them. So what we are going to do is sprinkle a little parsley bit of there. parsley love. On now this is, the o this is what you consider to be pretty much the only uh, authentic, really German food cart food in the area. I, th I think so, yes. I, there are some Bavarian carts that are around that I have seen in the past, uh -huh. but these, um, some of them have closed and what they offer is uh, pretzels, bratwurst, uh -huh. sauerkraut, and kind of like this. I do have we got a minute left, so you better get this food cart plated. And I want to talk with Judith Short, who's the general manager of uh, Hillsborough Station. Room for room for 28 carts here at Third and Baseline. And as I walked out here to look at the carts, there's carts here from all over the world. I feel like we're kind of the United Nations of food here. Yeah. And yes, we have carts from all over the world. We tried really hard to have a diversity in our menus across the board, so there's very few overlaps of any kind in regard to the menus that are available. 28 carts. 28 is incredible. Think of that. It's a lot. It's a lot of food. Over the weekend opening, your, your first weekend was just last weekend. How did it go? How was it received? Well, we had the mayor here, and we had Representative Jean Solomon here. We had uh, Councilwoman um, Beach Pace here. Um, we figured we put about, oh, and Mayor, don't forget, Mayor Steve Callaway. Mm -hmm. And we, we figured we put around right around 1,000 to 1,200 people through for, during the day. We also had weekend, a great right? party with a with a mariachi band, and <laughs> we are just bordering one of the largest Latino populations uh -huh. in the city of Hillsboro. Uh -huh. And I wanted to pay homage to them right. and let them know they're part of the family. Right. Big Latino population out here, but also Intel, Nike, yes. all the other big wigs out here, biotech companies bring people here from all over the planet, India. Uh, Europe, Russia, I mean a lot of different places are represented. People out here looking for a place to eat at home while they're on the road, kind of, for lack of a better way of putting it. And this might be it right here. All right, time is here. Suited up here. we got about 20 seconds left, Verena. Go ahead. She's going to plate that up. I told her. I told her, man. There you go. You got Boiled potatoes. And then we have a side of our lovely carrots. Everything is made from scratch. Yeah. And and that goes with the stew. Let me grab my ladle over. Ken and Emily, they are open during the week here. I'll let Verena get the uh, the last so stuff here. Me, so I distracted her. That's what yeah. she said. I do that to a lot of women. <laughs> distracted her while at the same time pushing for that so breakfast. I think Cora's hungry. Yeah, today. that's what it is. Well, he was in, Cora was in studio he yesterday, so he's making up for it. I just wanted to get this finished so I can have a little bite of that. All right, baby. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. Exactly yeah. what we were saying. Yes. There you go. Parsley on top. Of There's your finished product. Now, what is this called? This is called goulash with goulash. kartoffeln on cotton. All right. Yes. The money shot. Got to have it. Be careful. Oh. It's hot. Oh, it looks no good. Gravy and potatoes the there. That looks pretty good. Mm. Mm. That is a sweet gravy. <laughs> it's delicious. With potatoes in there, too. Yeah. All right, we could go on here all morning, yeah. and we will. You've seen this show before, I know. Hillsboro Downtown Station, open for business. And when you're here, stop by Ein Berliner and give this girl here a how do you do and a hello. And have some of these meatballs and potatoes.
There you go. <laughs> Looks yeah. like it was worth the wait. All right. Thanks, Core. I